Oh uh, yeah, super pumped to get to the bend. Much different track to Tasmania, and obviously it was our last race win there. Obviously it was short track we won at last year, but um, you know, really keen to get back to the long one, and I think we'll have a strong car there. Yeah, looking forward to getting back to the bend. It's uh, it's been nice to us back in 2020. So I had a couple of really good results there. So. Uh, yeah, a little bit of a difficult start to this season. So yeah, fingers crossed we can get back there, have some couple of good results and get our season back on track. But um, yeah, for Tick Fit, I think it's going to be a strong showing and uh, yeah, looking forward to the challenge. Yeah, I really can't wait to get back in the Castrol Mustang or for the first time I actually get to race it this weekend. It's just going to be an awesome feeling to be back racing against the big boys. I mean, it really, you know, it's the pinnacle of Australian racing driving the Supercars Championship. So. I just want to make sure I can do everything right on my end, extract all the maximums out of what I'm doing in the car and trying to work well with my engineer Ray and all the guys because it's, it's a two day event, it's very short and sharp stuff. You don't have long between practice and qualifying and the races and I think it's just important. Yeah, we, we just try to maximise everything and, and, and tick all the boxes. Uh, the bend's obviously very fast and flowing, um, a lot higher grip levels than say what Tassie was, um, a lot less degs. So coming off our car, um, eating its tyres at Tassie, it's probably a good track to go to for us. And um, obviously pretty close to Mildura also, so got a lot of friends and family there, so it'd be cool to get there. Soft tyre at Ben, it's definitely going to spice it up. It played uh, a lot of havoc on the field in 2020, just trying to manage those tyres and, and prevent that blistering as much as possible. So everyone's uh, got another, I suppose, another year under the belt, so I'm trying to understand it. And um, I suppose last year's round gave everyone a lot of information and data on it. So be interesting to see who can do the best job at it, but uh, hopefully our boys have, uh, are on it and we can go out there and uh, have some good results. Well, like you said, it, it, it's very tight this weekend, being only a two day format. So having all that prior experience at Tail and Bend, I think puts me in good stead because I can hopefully just jump straight in the car and, and try and be on it and not sort of waste that important track time. We've only got two half an hour practice sessions and I really need to try and absolutely maximize what I'm doing in the car. And I think having all that prior running in sports sedans, S5000, tail and benders as well when I was in the supercar back in 2019. It's all just gonna really help this weekend. It's nice being back with the Tickford crew, just sort of reacquainting myself with everyone and also working with Ray, who's really come along fantastically as an engineer. I've never worked with him in this capacity before, but we really learn a lot about each other and, and sort of how we operate on the test day, sort of speaking the same language and He's really enthusiastic to, to get some good results and, and try and improve me as a driver, like what I'm doing on track and all the little sort of small niche things I can work on to just improve corner by corner and also over a race. So yeah, and, and all, the, all the boys in the car are, are doing a fantastic job getting this beautifully presented Castrol Ford Mustang and with the backing of Herzog Steel and ACT Fensire. I, I, yeah, I think We've done everything right up to this point, so now we just need to get on track and, and put it all together. Well, it's handy for me that we're starting at Tail and Bend, a track that I'm very familiar with. And then we head up to, to Darwin, or Hidden Valley, a circuit I've never raced on before. But the, the team's got a lot of data. It's a track that I can practice on the simulator. But I think to be starting at Tail and Bend, it'll just give me that, that bit of confidence heading into Hidden Valley and then finishing up with Barber Gallo, a track where I scored my very first pole position in Super 2 and for the team. So I've got a bit of good history there and I think that's a really nice way to, to end the, the three round wildcard program and especially under lights at Wanneroo. Look, it's very cliche to say that I just want to do the best job I can, but at the end of the day, we all have our own little goals and, and things that I'd be happy with and, and results that I'd be disappointed with. I mean, ultimate goal would be to try and crack into the top 10 and sort of anything beyond that would just be, yeah, a dream come true but I just want to yeah, do the best job I can and, and the timing sheets will, will show us where we really are. And the, the field in supercars is, is so high quality. I mean, it's, we saw it uh, at the last round at Simmons Plains that the, the gap between first and, and 20th is, is so small, only within a couple of tenths. So I, I need to be on my game and if I can break into the top 10, it would be fantastic. And I just want to do the best job I can for the team, for all the Ford fans and, and all my supporters back home.